There's a battle brewing between Elon Musk of Twitter, apparently now, and also Devin Nunes of Trump's Truth Social. There's a bit of a back and forth going on. Let's see exactly how this started. It did start with Devin Nunes. A couple of potentially untruths. Let's watch this. Uh, President Trump, basically before Elon Musk bought it, actually said to go and buy it because the goal of our company is really to build a community where people are in a family friendly, safe environment. That was Devin Nunes talking about his truth social app and Variety is reporting on this. Also, we encourage Elon Musk to buy Twitter because someone has to take on these tech tyrants. Donald Trump wanted to make sure that the American people got their voice back and that the internet was open. And that, uh, and that's what we were doing, uh, which makes me wonder: um, How come Donald Trump, the richest man in the world, if you ask him, how come he didn't buy Twitter? Uh, moving on. <laughs> Good point. So Musk decided to jump in and and, uh, and push back on this uh, and respond to that. He did say, "This is false. <laughs> I've had no communication directly or indirectly with Trump, who has publicly stated that he will be exclusively." On Truth Social, which is actually true, Trump did say that. Uh, so why would Nunes be lying about this? Of course, is the next question. Truth Social has not enjoyed a very uh, terrific launch of its product, even if most of it was in beta. Reports of a buggy application, combined with almost no engagement from the foreign president, have led some experts to call the application dead. Which is why uh, Devin Nunes is jumping on every opportunity he can uh, with awkward interviews. I did see a little bit of him saying this before. <sighs> Dude's awkward. Uh, continuing on, when Trump was kicked off of Twitter, he had more than 88 million followers. On Truth Social, which launched uh, an iOS in February, Trump is currently listed as having 2.55 million followers. Uh, definitely not enough for him. Also, as we know, Devin Nunes was suing over the Kyle thing. Let's jump down to graphic seven though, because um, what Musk is interested in here, uh, he's primary, he said that he's primarily interested in protecting free speech, considering what we just talked about. We mentioned the Rivana ban here. Uh, in protecting free speech on Twitter, and he has criticized the company for allegedly having a left leaning political bias. Now keep that in mind because he's partnered with other groups and we're thinking about free speech and pushing that whole agenda forward and the morals of Americans and everyone that believes in it. Uh, so let's check this out. Again, remembering that part, Elon Musk will fund his Twitter deal with money from countries that suppress free speech is what this headline says. That's because Saudi Prince Alawid bin Talal said he has looked, he's looked forward to joining his new friend, Elon Musk, on his journey here. So details on that. On Thursday, an SEC filing revealed that financiers for Musk's takeover plan, which includes Saudi Prince Alawid bin Talal and Qatar's sovereign wealth fund. Both countries impose harsh censorship to quash dissent. A Qatari law states that spreading quote false or malicious news can land you in prison for five years. While in Saudi Arabia, critics of the government have faced arrest and even murder. These things of course are always known. Um, Saudi Arabia also ranks number 166 out of 180 in the world on press freedom index, while Qatar uh, ranks number 119. Again, these are the folks that are helping to spread free speech here in America as we get a crossover application. Again, why does Elon Musk need help? I thought these guys were rich. Um, continuing on, uh, because also Alawi did tweet about this. Great to connect with my new friend, as we uh, saw there. I believe you'd be an excellent leader for Twitter to propel and maximize its great potential. Uh, the kingdom and I look forward to, our, to roll our $1.9 billion in the new Twitter and join you on this exciting journey. Wonderful there. Um, do you guys think now, you know, once Elon Musk and his buddies finish off this whole thing, maybe collects a few more uh, dollars from other countries uh, that maybe he'll be reinstating all those folks that uh, were worried about it before, especially well, they, Donald Trump. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of issues here. Um, but first, I'd like to know something irrelevant, but fun. I like that they're like, true social is in beta. I was like, yeah, it's on a beta bus, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Truth social. Okay, anyways, uh, I mainly love this story because the, the circular firing squad has begun. A, Elon Musk is like, oh, these left wingers, man, they criticize me because I don't pay taxes. Oh, no, I hate left wingers. Oh, the right wing, oh, that's, it's, it's, that's an interesting way to go, right wing, okay? And we're like, yeah, but they lie all the time. No, they don't. And then the first thing they do is they come and lie about him. He's like, wait a minute, they're lying. <laughs> I know, we told you that. <laughs> like, they do it without a conscience. <laughs> like Devin Nunes, of course Devin Nunes is gonna lie about you. And by the way, Trump, this is a classic Trump 101. He probably told Nunes, tell him I told him to do it. Tell him I need to get the credit for it. And when Nunes gets in trouble with Elon Musk, Trump might fire.
He does that all the time. That's why I told Nunes, I said on air when Nunes was quitting Congress to go run Trump's site, I was like, how many weeks are you gonna last, brother? He's gonna make you do something stupid and then fire you for listening to him. It's what he does every time, right? So Elon Musk is like, that's outrageous, totally false. Yeah, welcome to our world. <laughs> they haven't said something true about us in years. So I love that part. And then the second part about the, the people who are in favor of freedom of speech. The Saudis literally chopped up a guy <laughs> because they didn't like what he said. Freedom of speech? Or he's gonna come to Twitter through the Saudis? Okay, if you say so. Honestly, I feel like maybe in Trump's mind, he actually believed that um, he might have incentivized, you know, Elon, maybe through his own actions with Trump, you know, Truth Social. But Trump doesn't live in reality, so I'm not surprised he, you know, might have pushed Nunes to say that. Um, but I think going back to your point, like yes, yeah, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, like definitely not places that encourage or incentivize free speech. And that just goes to the point that right wingers, they don't really truly believe in free speech. They they believe in control. And that's exactly what they're looking for. Um, Elon Musk too, I, the fact that they don't do any research into the, like the places and maybe they do, maybe they actually do know what's going on there. But it's clear that that's not free speech and protecting people's rights is not at the forefront of their mind, it's power and control. And once people begin to realize that, I'm talking about right wingers, cuz us on the left, we know this already, right? Um, I think that maybe they'll start waking up, but I doubt it's gonna be in my lifetime. But yeah, it's not about free speech, it's about control, it's about power, it's about making sure that no one can criticize me or you know talk bad about me. Um, the only speech I want online is the speech that I approve of. Yeah, to Kylo's point there, that's actually literal. So these free speech champions, Donald Trump and Devin Nunes, uh, on true social, they're like, this is, this is for free speech. Rule number one, you're not allowed to criticize Trump. <laughs> Wait, what happened to free speech? <laughs> like, you guys are a joke. You're an unbelievable joke. And the fact that the right wing can't see that is amazing. It's amazing. And Devin Nunes, well, he's a champion of free speech, right? I mean, he's the CEO. He sued Twitter because of two accounts, Devin Nunes' mom and Devin Nunes' cow. He sued them for $250 million for parody accounts that they had nothing to do with. And he's like, that day you shouldn't allow that speech. They're making fun of me. They're pretending I have a cow and it has an account and it's speaking. I don't actually have a cow and it doesn't have a Twitter handle. They're making fun of me, I'm gonna sue you. Freedom of speech advocate, okay. <laughs> By the way, out of that murderer's row of hypocrites, the least guilty is Prince Al Walid bin Talal, okay. Because <laughs> to be fair to that guy, the the butcher of Riyadh, uh, Mohammed bin Salman, mm -hmm. the guy who actually chopped up uh, the journalist, also had bin Talal arrested in the beginning. Because bin Talal was seen as a, a prince who might vie for mm -hmm. power. And he locked up a bunch of princes in a fancy hotel. And let him know, Oh, by the way, I'm taking some of your money. And if you cross me, I'll kill you, <laughs> okay? And so he's not in Bin, uh, last we checked, he was not in Mohammed bin Salman's camp, if you will. Well, so. as long as he didn't tweet that, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two more really quick things, because th this fight isn't just started. Because I remember from a few weeks ago, in fact, April 27th, not even a few weeks ago. April 27th, Elon Musk did tweet this out. You won't see this graphic, but I do remember this every time. Because they were talking about Truth Social versus Twitter, and how the full takeover of this big tech situation has happened. And Elon Musk couldn't stand for that either, because his ego is too big. He went Truth Social, terrible name here, exists, he did say terrible name, that wasn't me, exists, because Twitter censored free speech, okay, sure. And, and then followed up and said, it should be called Trumpet instead, because he was focused in on the name of Truth Social. Because again, he's like, well, we got to squash any of these competitors, even though they're kind of killing themselves off anyway. So there's that part. Secondly, uh, um, Pop Crave apparently is next up on the ban list on Twitter, because they tweeted this out. It girl, model, singer, songwriter, Sky Fiera, declines a date with Elon Musk after being asked by his team at the 2022 Met Gala. There's the picture of them, and May Musk responded, there was no team, I was with Elon. 
So no, that angry face. And Elon, you, know, you, you better get on here and explain yourself. I didn't ask anyone out or request particular seating. So he fixed the misinformation. I'm not sure if Pop Crave is gonna uh, last much longer here on the site. But again, that's an example of if something that you feel is incorrect, or I don't know who's right or wrong here, honestly, I don't care. Um, but he got a chance to clear it up and I'm sure anyone who wants to believe him will believe him. He was the one that was there and apparently along with May Musk, I'm not sure who that yeah, is. Yeah, we'll see who's getting banned because we just did a story about how one of our contributors was banned on Twitter for being mean to Ben Shapiro. So I don't know what the new rules are, okay? And then, I, I but I will give you a lot of Musk credit for this. Truth Social is a terrible name. <laughs> and now this is speculation, fun speculation. My guess is that Trump called a meeting afterwards, was like, wait a minute, Truth Social is a terrible name. Who came up with that? And they're like, uh, sir. You did, you did, sir. <laughs> no, you're fine. Okay, uh, maybe should we call a trumpet? Should we call a trumpet? Yeah. And people are like it seems pretty reactionary to the tweet that he had. <laughs> I thought we were all fired. <laughs> Look, uh, it's yeah. Go ahead. These people ahead. are just so sensitive. Like honestly, like with the whole cow thing and just like you know banning of you know really just. Like you said before, impolite speech, like who gives a crap, you know? And it just really shows like how much of snowflakes these people are. Like they they melt at the like the smallest like pushback or like insult. Like they just can't take it. They lose their god dang minds. And I'm just like, wow, like this is the party of intellectualism. This is like the hard, <laughs> like masculine party. Like you got called a cow and you're you're suing people. Like, come on, come on, man. No, no, <laughs> come on. Know. Everything about Republicans is the opposite of what they claim. That Ted Cruz, like, I'm a tough guy. Oh, you called my wife ugly? Can I kiss your ass more? Should I kiss it on the left, <laughs> the right, or both? What do you think? What do you think, Donald? Okay, they're like the world's biggest betas. So I, I love that they lied about Elon Musk and that he's like shocked the chagrin to find out the right wing lies. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I love the snowflake on snowflake violence. I that's just, totally, <laughs> totally, totally. At least rhetorical violence. All right, super last thing. Prince Walid bin Talal, of course, is you know Muslim trying to come into the country, take our property, would buy and stuff. Fundamental is terrible, right? Also, was a huge partial owner of Fox News. Okay, so well, conservatives of uh, you know flock together. Okay, so right wing in Saudi Arabia and the right wing here, all was be in the past. Love Fox News. He's now divested from Fox News. And now with Elon Musk into Twitter. So if you like being ruled by Saudi Arabia, well, there's a couple of princes that the right wing absolutely loves. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.